Our main objective will be to learn about orthogonal signals. To do that, we will begin by looking at the orthogonality between the sine and the cosine using a simple VI in lab view. Afterwards, we will modify our VI to include harmonic frequencies, which will allow us to investigate the powerful properties of orthogonal division multiplexing. What does being orthogonal mean? Two signals are said to be orthogonal if their dot product is equal to zero. Dot product is just a fancy way of saying you multiply the two signals together and integrate the result. When you do that, you should get zero. Most of us in the RF test world are used to thinking of it as simply the two signals are perpendicular to one another or another way of saying the two signals are separated by 90 degrees. The sine and the cosine are obviously separated by 90 degrees, therefore they must be orthogonal. But let's take a look at that. I'm going to use a blank new project in LabVIEW. So if you have LabVIEW and you wish to follow along, you can just open and start a new project. We'll first generate the sine and the cosine and plot them. After that, we'll multiply the two signals together, plot that result, but more importantly, we will look at the dot product result and ensure that it is indeed zero. After we've done that, we'll modify our VI again. This time, we'll add the ability to change their frequencies relative to one another and prove to ourselves that not only are the sine and cosine orthogonal, but that any harmonically related signals are also orthogonal, independent of their phase relationship to one another. First thing we need to do is generate the sine and the cosine. We can do that by going to input, simulate a signal. When we drop it on the palette, that will bring up the configuration window. You can see its default is a sine with a frequency of 10.1. I'm going to change that to 1 Hertz and click on integer number of cycles. I want to make sure I get one cycle here. So I have one cycle of a sine and I'm also going to click on reset phase. This is just for graphical purposes. If you want to read about this you can look at it in the help file. And then we'll name this sign. All right. That's generating our sign.